Okay, so now let's look at uh, using the, the 3D point cloud to be able to do some uh, analysis. And first we're going to look at some full flatness. So uh, certainly there are uh, many tools out there to be able to do something like this, but the 3D point cloud gives you a very comprehensive uh, set of data to be able to do some analysis of uh, the, the area that you've just constructed. Um, so what we can do in Trimble RealWorks is we can select an area that we want to compare. Uh, we can either create a comparison uh, plane to compare the the floor with, or we can actually import the design model and compare it to that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to select our surface to model inspection tool and compare those two, two services, one the 3D point cloud, one the 3D model. And then we're going to use our inspection map analyzer to generate uh, some various different types of exports uh, based around this. So we're going to use the software to show you how to do that. Oops. So I'm going to close the current, uh, I'm going to use this same project. So let me just hide everything for a minute. And then what I'm going to do is, um, previously what I did is I selected an area of this building uh, to use. So you can see I selected uh, the section of the floor. It's uh, pretty close to where I modeled that core. Uh, and I'm going to compare this area with a horizontal plane to see how flat it is. So here you can see the floor. Uh, you can see some pieces have been taken out of it because there was like uh, different things that were lying on the floor as it's under construction. And uh, people walking around, so I used some tools to uh, to actually uh, delete that information. It's actually in our filtering tools, it's called topographic filter, to filter out everything down to the floor level. So the first step is I'm going to go into the office survey mode. When I select my point cloud, I have a tool in here that allows me to do some fitting. And in the fitting, I can actually fit a horizontal plane. Now, this horizontal plane is based off the coordinate system that, I've ch uh, that I'm using on this building. So I know that uh, x, y, and z are in the right orientation. So I know this horizontal plane will be a perfect level plane. So I'm going to fit that plane. Now, I could also import the 3D model of the design and do a comparison to that. Um, but in this case, uh, I'm going to create this uh, horizontal plane. So now I have the horizontal plane down here. I have the 3D point cloud. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to hit the control button. I'm going to select both of these objects. From there, I'm going to select Office Survey. I'm going to do a surface to model inspection. Now what it does, this tool is it compares, it's going to compare both these sections based on the resolution I set. So let's have a look at it uh, every point one of a meter. So basically cut it up into areas, do a preview, and compute it now. And you can see what is generated is a surface to model inspection. And this map you see on the left is a comparison of these two of these two 3D surfaces mapped uh, down uh, into a 2D map. And it's a map of change between one to the other. So what we're seeing here is a difference between the where the flat surface should be where the point cloud is. So what you'll see is you see in some areas that the red areas is where the point cloud is above the flat plane and the blue areas is where it's below and you can see the values and this is in meters so you can see changes everything up to 50 millimeters 
and down as low as 30 millimeters. So you can see this map will show you where you need to either do some grinding or where you need to do some filling to level out your floor. So it's a very useful tool to be able to quickly analyze the flatness or the levelness of your floor. So this is a visualization of that. What I can do is I can go into my inspection map analyzer then to create some different outputs of this. I'm going to go into the inspection map analyzer. As you can see it actually acts really fast. Now one thing you can see is we have multiple functions within the inspection map analyzer tool. Uh, the first one I'm going to show you is sections and shifts. And this is where you'll see on the right hand side you'll see uh, two visualizations of the comparison. In the top you see a cross-sectional comparison. The red line is the flat plane and the green will be the uh, 3D point cloud. So it's where it should be versus where it is. You can see there in the middle. You can see the comparison between the two. And down the bottom is a differential plot to, with exaggerated scale so you can quickly see where there's changes. Now on the left hand side I can scroll across and pick a cross section anywhere and see the comparison in 2D on the right hand side. So if I make this full screen for you, you can see the, the, the comparison there. So the red line, maybe if I change the screen color again, it might be easier for you to see the red line. You see the red line versus the green. Maybe the black was better, in fact. Uh, and you can see the cross section. So if we go back here, and you can also do this in the vertical, vertical way as well. Okay, so that's one way you can uh, see where your changes are. You have uh, an isometric curve map that you can create. So basically, like a contour map of the floor. So I can ask it to create an interval, say, every 10 millimeters. Oops, not one millimeter, every 10. And you can see it will create eight, eight ISO curves. Let's preview that. And you can see it creates basically a contour map of the floor. And it's color coded, showing you where it's low uh, and where it's high with that same color coding that you see in the, in the 2D map over here. Okay, if you want to do it every, uh, say, five millimeters, you can just quickly change the interval preview, and you'll just get a lot more contours. So you can see them here. And what we can do is we can create that, and we'll create that map into a folder for us down the bottom. Another deliverable that we can look at is the volume surface comparison between the two. And what that will do is it gives you your cut and fill of how much uh, difference of, of material that is in that area and also the, the surface area comparison. So when I clicked on do the comparison, it did all these calculations in the background just in a, just a matter of, of a few seconds. It did all these comparisons and I'm, a, I'm able to now query those comparisons and have a look at them. I can also uh, Here's this one here called points and, points and polylines. So if I want somebody to go out and inspect a certain area, I can use this polyline and I can say, say outline an area. Like so. And if I turn the 3D point cloud on, uh, you can see that it maps it onto the 3D point cloud as well. And this area, what we can do is add a comment to it. We can say, uh, if we're really worried about it, we can ask the engineer to go out to inspect it. And we can create that deliverable. We can also create points. And so we can pick certain points of the area, for instance. And we can say, layout point and create 
and you'll see that this layout point, if I look at the properties of that layout point, it actually has the coordinates of that layout point. So we could export those out uh, into our Trimble Field Link software, for instance, or our LMAD software, and we could go out with our robotic total station and we could lay out that point or group of points and so somebody would know that uh, they had to grind down that area or fill in that area. So you can see how that functionality starts to combine uh, not only some office software analysis but also how it can then transition into the field.